11.20 and we're on our way to DIA. Going to Nepal. We kind of got a big epic travel stint. We're going to travel for like 50 hours. <laughs> I got canceled, so our lovely airline helper lady searched for probably a half hour, 45 minutes to help us find a new flight. It was looking pretty grim. We might have had to go back to Boulder for like three days to wait. She found us a flight. I think we're going to be okay. Expedition back on. And the words that she said. Yeah, traveling in Nepal is just, it's, it's really interesting to see a culture that is so surrounded by their spirituality and their religion. You don't really get that in the States or any, anywhere else really that I've ever traveled to. And You know, you're walking along the trail and there'll be these huge stupas or there'll be these mani stones with Om Mani Padme Om, like thousands of them carved yeah. into little rocks. It's a yak. The fog has a mind of its own. It is really unpredictable. Sometimes it's there and then it disappears and then comes back in full force. It's almost like it's alive. I mean, you, you hear about the Himalaya, but then when you actually go there and see it, it's, it's pretty mind blowing. The Kumbu is definitely one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it's just amazing to be like smack dab in the middle of the Himalaya. I think it's gonna clear. <laughs> We're gonna do some rock climbing. You gotta grab a hold and it feels like ice. Like you're grabbing icicles. Okay. <laughs> the coldest I've ever been climbing. Everything's so cold. It's cold? <laughs> it's pretty cold out here. Oh god. Fingers are coming back. Baltic day today, but uh, we started developing a new sport climbing crag here in the Kumbu. And the purpose for this crag would be for the Kumbu Climbing School to, uh, you know, give them, the Sherpas, a little bit more rock climbing to do. Uh, right now there's only like maybe two or three routes established around Fort Say, so we're hoping to kind of 
both this little wall and hopefully get up at least five roots. Inside our pride, inside our pride, so we're all